Patay na si Jesus, directed by Victor Caiba Villanueva. Ang Mananangal sa Unit 23B, directed by Prime Cruz. Baboy Halas, directed by Bagane Fiola. Best Party Ever, directed by Howard H. F. Yambao. Pinulid by Christian Sendon Cordero. Purgatorio, directed by Roderick Cabrido. And Women of the Weeping River by Sharon Dayo. Patayna si Jesus, directed by Victor Caiba Villanueva, is a Cebuano comedy drama road film by award-winning Filipino film director Victor. The movie shows how the status quo of a dysfunctional and emotionally bankrupted family headed by Isai, a single mother, takes a wild turn upon receiving word that her ex-husband Jesus has already passed away. In Ang Mananangal sa Unit 23B, director Brian Cruz shows the struggles of Jewel, a mananangal or creature who separates from its lower body and becomes a winged monster at night, who falls in love with a broken-hearted man, can Jewel find true love, or is she destined to live alone forever? We will soon find out. In Baboy Halas Wild Boar, written and directed by Pagani Fiola, is set in the vast mountain range in Mindanao where a Manobo family's survival is threatened by the sudden appearance of a white pig near an enchanted waterfalls. The hunter becomes so entranced with the pig that he could no longer distinguish right from wrong, fantasy and reality. As his mind descends into madness, he plunges into the enchanted river where it all began, never again to be seen as a person he once was. In Best Party Ever, first time indie filmmaker Howard H.F. Yambao will narrate city jail goings on through the eyes of Mikey, a young discreet gay man from the affluent class who spends five years in a city jail while hearing his case for drug pushing. Mikey eventually finds himself as the ringleader of a group of gay inmates called Gamda, and together they survive the dangers lurking behind prison bars. In Hinuli, director Christian Sendon Cordero trails behind a woman who travels to Katbunga, a marina sur, while carrying the ashes of her only son. She rides an old train that circles around her universe like the Kandaya, the primordial serpent known in Tagalog and Bicol region. Purgatorio, directed by Roderick Cabrido, tells the story of Ilyong, a man recently killed by the police after he was caught stealing. His death signaled the start of a story that showed the complex relationship of a gambling lord, a policeman, a funeral parlor owner, and her two helpers. Internationally renowned filmmaker Sharon Dayok showed his prowess in Women of the Weeping River, a film project that has received international development grants and a production grant. Satra, a widow living in the southern Mindanao, forms a relationship with an aging village woman named Farida to help her in holding peace talks with her rival family. Okay, for if you leave by Eduardo Dodo Daya. Saan may naiwan by Joshua Hoven and Kaj Palanca. Nung lumipad ang Batang Aguila by Nick Rangara. Pagdating by Gabriel Taya. Papa's Shadow by Inshala Montero. Sayaw Sartal by Victor Nieva. And Viva Viva Escolta by Janice Victoria. Adrian Araujo from Nogaga City captures the sad story of a mother and son relationship in Kondo. Dark concepts are rediscovered in Eduardo Dodo Dayao's piece as he uses the found footage style for his horror entry, If You Leave. In art, H, in art, H is just a number. 16-year-old Joshua Joven 
prove that when his LGBT themes short Kung Saan May Naiwan, co-directed by Kaj Malanka, made it to the final cut. Mick Vergara incorporates the concept of superhero in Nung Lumipad Ang Batang Agila. Meanwhile, Gabriel Tarag of Pampanga gives a new spin to the airport experience in his film, Bad Dati. Bad Dati. Director Inshala Montero's Papa's Shadow uses elements of shadow plays to tell her narrative. Victor Nierva from Naga, Camarina Sur, harnesses the power of melodrama for his piece, Sayao Sabutal. And lastly, Janus Victoria's Viva Viva Escolta melds the concepts of art and gong in her short film. Wow. So the industry is right to cross borders. That in here, they can find a home, a place that produces world-class films, plus our theme, uh, One City to the World. In this new section, we will feature the recent works of emerging filmmakers from our Asian, neighbor, from our Asian neighbors. Shall we begin? We will see an Anton Juan feature, mga hinabing pakpak ng ating mga anak, or the woven wings of our children. Of course, you know, theater, uh, theater maverick Anton Juan, uh, representing the Philippines. Then we have, by the time it gets dark, from Thai director Anocha Suicha Coin Paul. Okay. <laughs> Next is Old Stone, a Chinese-Canadian film directed by Johnny Ma. That's easy to pronounce. And spend time to watch Singing in Graveyards, direct from its Venice premiere by Malaysian director Bradley Liu in cooperation with Filipino filmmakers. Another great movie to watch is Solo Solitude from Indonesian filmmaker Yosef Angi Noen. And to close this section, we have, from Singapore, Apprentice, from director Wu Junfeng, which recently completed in the Cannes Film Festival. This will include the Israeli drama film, One Week and a Day, directed by Asa Polonsky. Also part of the roster is The Teacher, by Jan Rebek, from the Czech Republic. The winner of the Palme d'Or from Cannes, um, I, Daniel Blake, by Ken Loach from the UK. From Bulgaria, have you ever seen a film from Bulgaria? Godless, directed by Relitsa Petrova. And the intriguing uh, Iranian film, Under the Shadow, by Babak Anvari. And Headshot from Indonesia by Timo Taljanto and Kimo Stamwell, which is a sequel of The Raid, I think. And last but not the least, the acclaimed ornithologist from Portugal by João Pedro Rodriguez. I uh, ko ang inulit based to sa isang kwento ni Carlos Ojeda. Carlos Ojeda Orius na isaring manunulat mula sa Naga. And then it was very clear to me that when I was writing the script, I, want, I wanted Nora Nor to play the lead role because uh, I wanted I want to do a film na gamit ang wika namin sa people. So ito yung unang magiging pelikula ni Nora na gumamit ng wika namin sa people. So uh, kinayod namin na uh, uh, makuha si Ate Gai para sa pelikula ng ito. So mahalaga sa akin yung yung, yung, yung artista na gaganap sa pelikula. Kaya kahit merong mga aberya sa sa schedule at sa iba pang usapin, uh, pinilit namin na makuha si Ate Gai. Hello, uh, good afternoon. I'm H. Akimbao. Um, uh, best party ever. Um, actually, it was conceptualized. Um, actually, more than a concept, because I'm um, more. Um, 
I practice and found stories. No? So basically, um, this is based on true events. No? Um, I was really uh, um, inspired by doing this story. Kasi, um, party ako nung, nung kwentong yun, nung nangyayari siya. No? Nung partying, when I was younger, and all. And I feel that this is the perfect time. No? Siguro talagang destiny na sa QC ni Masha 2016 mapasok kasi now that we have you know the ongoing um, war on drugs by our administration under President Duterte and I think um, siguro ito yung maitutulong namin sa war on drugs by educating the youth yun yung kabataan ko yung mga bata ngayon merong matutunan dun sa pelikula namin Ako si Private Cruz, Director po ng Angala ng Gala sa Euro 23. So, kaya po namin ginagawa yung pinikula kasi uh, ako po gusto kong gumawa ng love story na Pita Monster. Tapos, ano, favorite monster ko sa Philippine Monsters na Angala kasi kasi dito po siya. And... Well, we thank you for gracing this event. We hope to see you all at the Q Cinema 2016. Please do not forget to use our hashtag. That's hashtag QCinema2016. I repeat, hashtag QCinema2016. Again, you're not. Um, actually, it's not the same. I remember asking my director and the producer, ko na, sabi ko, why me? <laughs> sabi ko, uh, sa lahat ng mga artists and actors sa mga namin yun, marunong gumawa ng isang role na ganito sabi ko bakit ako <laughs> and yun part na yun um, really really fostered ako and uh, hindi ko siya masasagot actually kasi yung director ko yung sagot ko bakit ako so Howard tell us what made timing why what is timing well, aside from the timing um, kasi physically you know pasok na agad yung isang role pero that's just a physical uh, of the character. Um, we also intended that uh, he hasn't done anything like that before. Because it kind of erases um, yung mga expectations ng tao to the role. Like if we, if we get someone na medyo kilala na for doing gay roles. So lahat magiging parang recalibrated na hindi nila expect yung gay roles. And this is all about drugs? Yes. Um, it is... Um, well, the story revolves around drugs. Uh, that's the reason why he got in jail. But we are focusing on the repercussions, you know, all these fun things that you want to do. What will happen yeah, if ever you got caught? So, yun yung mas laman ko yun. Ano yung pinagdaanan niya? Mumination mo na nga si Rabi. Humbling experience for me. Lalong-lalo na na first lead role ko to na sa isang indie project. Uh, very, very humbled ako and very honored na uh, ako yung pinili nila. And this is also my first time to, to join Q Cinema Festival. So, very, very excited ako and uh, nervous at the same time. Okay. Yun, nagawa niyo shooting sa pelikula. This is your first film, ba? First film sa independent. Uh, actually, no. Naka, bali third na, pero uh, yun nga, this is my first time to, to join Q Cinema Festival. Lead role? Lead role. Uh, meron din akong ginawa kasi last year under uh, Cinema One Original. So, bali, this is my third. Okay po, sige po. Invite you po ang ating mga viewers to watch the film dito sa Q Cinema. Yes, starting sa October 13 till October Siguro kasi ngayon, excited ako dahil kakaiba yung story na gagawin ko. First time na ako makarinig ng movie na, na about Manananggal in a very light approach. Kasi yung siya ko sinabi, Manananggal, di ba? Parang ah, matakot. Ba't yung nasa Manananggal? Oo, ito Manananggal parang... Kakaiba to yung... Oo, it's a romantic story. Romantic story. Ibang siya. Hindi siya yung tradition naman. 
Sige po, it's um, do you have any final message with our viewers? Kailan po ba nila mapapanood yung mga pelikula sa Pusin? Ayun. Ayun, sa lahat po. Like, Kesa City, sana dumalaw na iba. Na, support lahat po. Hindi lang naman ako na nagkalahat ng entry po ng Q Cinema sa October 13 to 23. Po, sa mga ayaw, ano nang gasa yung 23 May, panawarin niyo po, pakanggap po.